double check. Make sure your name is on the back of your paper. Put your paper on your messy mat with your name facing down. With a large paintbrush, take a scoop of your hue. The hue is the color at your table. Paint the hue in the middle of your tag board. We actually want to take the hue out pretty far so that it's covering most of the tag board. So take another big scoop and paint out pretty far. If you notice that your brush is starting to leave, I call them waffles, but little white areas in between your paint, that means your paintbrush is too dry and you need to get more paint. Temper paint is a great medium because it is washable. It washes off of our hands, out of our clothes, out of our hair. But it also dries really quickly. So we need to use a lot of it when we want to get it to blend. Now do not wash your paintbrush. When we want paint colors to blend, we do not wash our paintbrush you are going to get a scoop of white paint. A scoop like you're putting queso on a chip. And on one side of your painting, on top of the hue, you are going to paint the white paint. You will see it mixed together. That is what we want. Get another scoop and then start to paint next to the hue. The more you brush back and forth over the line where the hue meets the tint, the more it will blend together. Keep adding scoops of white until you get all the way to the end of your paper. The end of the paper does not have to be white. It should be a tint of your hue, but it should be the lightest version of your hue. Now, because we have white on our brush, we do need to wash our brush. To wash your brush, you're gonna put it in your water cup, and you're going to scrub the bottom of the cup. Be gentle so that you don't splash. You swish, then you wipe on the edge of the cup, and then you blot on the paper towel. Go ahead and wash your brush. We're going to be adding black next, but black is a very strong color. What I mean by that is that black will very quickly overwhelm whatever hue you have. So in order to avoid our hue being overwhelmed and turning too black too quickly, what I'm going to do with my brush is I'm going to dip it first in the orange or my hue, and then I'm going to dip it just a teensy tiny bit into the black. You can see I just have a little bit of the black on my brush. And again, I'm going to paint it at the end of where my hue is. And the more I brush back and forth over the area, the more it will blend. And then I'm going to do that again. I'm going to get orange, a little bit of black, and paint it out to the edge. Now, I would like for this to get a little bit darker. So I'm going to get just a little bit of black and paint it right on top of the end there. You can see just a tiny bit of black 
goes a long way when you're creating a shade of a hue. Now this transition for me is a little bit too fast. It goes from orange to dark too quickly. So I'm going to wash my brush again. Remember I scrub the bottom of the cup. Wipe my paintbrush on the edge and blot it on my paper towel. Now I can scoop just some regular orange, just my hue, and add it to that transition. And I like that a lot better. When I'm done, I'm going to take my paintbrush, I'm going to put it hair side down in my cup, and I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to take my painting, leave it on my messy mat, and carry the whole thing to the drying rack. I'm going to start on the lowest possible shelf so that our class can start on the bottom and work our way to the top. Seat number ones, we'll put away our table bins and bring the paint tray to the demo table. Seat number threes, we'll wash our brushes. Seat number fours, we'll get a table rag. They will wipe the table. When they are finished wiping the table, they will pass the table rag around so that people may wipe the extra paint off of their hands. When your table is all finished cleaning up, please stay in your seats and wait to be called to line up.